So the Army's committed to 76 um, solar sites nationally. Uh, this is part of the pilot of four um, and we've um, built this site. It's covering about three and a half hectares, uh, 2.3 megawatts of power peak um, and it's um, to support the Defence School of Transport which is just over there uh, and it um, provides about 30% of the energy for that site. Well, we're committed to the net zero targets 2050, obviously, like every other government department. This site will generate uh, 2.3 gigawatt hours per annum. The Army is a national organisation. We're a hugely diverse estate. Um, we have offices, commercial, uh, domestic, all sorts of different sorts of, uh, of uses for our infrastructure nationally. So we need to have a national footprint when it comes to energy generation and um, carbon uh, decarbonisation. We've um, tried to be very much a fast follower in the Army with technologies that are proven and this is an example of that. Um, so um, uh, yeah, it's very much part of the en energy mix and, and we'll be going forward, we're, we're very committed to it. I think this is a really fantastic site. It's a, it's a great example of how the public sector can show real leadership in uh, the transition to net zero to decarbonise. And we think that you know, this, this is a pilot site and the intention is to do many, many more uh, with, with, at the MOD. But we also think the public sector as a whole, we're working with hospitals, we're working with schools, we're working with universities, uh, as, as well as many industrial companies to do something very similar to what's happened here.